Well, it's an announcement that might come as a shock to parents out there. The Erie County Comptroller says all playgrounds in the county need to be closed because of lead paint. Now, the county executive says that is not going to happen. Twin your sides, Emily Lampa reports tonight on what's going on in our parks as we continue to hold the powerful accountable. He needs to act now. Erie County Comptroller Stefan Mihailu says County Executive Mark Polenkars should have all playground equipment in the county roped off until they know for sure if the equipment is lead free or not. He says those with lead should be removed immediately. In my hands this morning just received the results that 12 of the 12 pieces of playground equipment that we had tested confirmed a presence of lead uh, and it's our understanding that 11 of those 12 uh, the levels of lead are incredibly high. Parents at Chestnut Ridge Park where some of those pieces are located were shocked at these findings. It infuriates me because you think that everything would be safe and there would be no issues and now you have to go to the park and worry about if your kid's going to get lead poisoning. Why is the county's financial officer having playground equipment tested for lead? Mahailu says this all started as an accounting audit of the park system. After finding $6 million of borrowed money unspent, auditors went out to the parks to check out conditions. They found deteriorating shelters, bathrooms in various states of disrepair, and peeling paint. We decided to test immediately. We went to three different hardware stores, bought over-the-counter lead kits, and tested individually numerous slides and swings, some of them baby swings, across Erie County parks. This was last week. Mahailu notified the health department. And in turn, they had said at a future date, they would go back and inspect playground equipment for lead. As a father, not even as controller, but as a father, that wasn't good enough for me. Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein said a health inspector did go out on Monday to Chestnut Ridge Park and found 22 pieces of equipment tested positive for lead. Those pieces will be removed. So far, that's the only park tested by the health department. But Dr. Burstein said the risk from playground equipment is fairly low, and the vast majority of lead poisoning cases involving children is from exposure in the home. It's repeated exposure to lead paint that is an issue. Going to a park and sliding down an old slide from the 1930s and 40s is not going to cause lead poisoning. At his press conference today at Chestnut Ridge, Poland cars clearly stated no playgrounds are getting closed down. As for the unspent money... It is being spent. It's just not being properly accounted in our accounting system. I don't know why staff wasn't doing it. And I've spoken to the deputy commissioner. He knows it's a priority. Mahailu's office responded to this saying that the money is bonded for specific projects and he said that what he his response was impossible. During our tour of Chestnut Ridge Park today, it's clear that some work had been done to fix some of the problems outlined in the Comptroller's report, such as doors being replaced on bathroom stalls. In terms of the playground equipment, the health department plans to send an inspector out to Akron Falls as well as Emory Park in the coming days. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.